Hello, welcome to Zoho Sales IQ. This video will tell you all about widgets in Zoho Sales IQ. Widgets are user interfaces that can be built as a part of Sales IQ's platform to display information related to a conversation and also to do certain actions. Widgets are a great way to show data from an external service or a database in your chat window. They are highly customizable and support a wide range of textual and visual elements to make the data displayed more actionable. You can pull data from any application and show them in Sales IQ's chat window and push data from Sales IQ to any application with actionable elements using widgets. To create a new widget using Sales IQ scripts, navigate to Settings, Developers, Widgets. Give your widget a name. Choose a brand and then a module. There are two options available with respect to creating widgets. You can either use Sales IQ scripts or webhooks. Choose the platform Sales IQ scripts and click Create Widget. The widget builder opens up and there are two handlers where you write the code to configure your widgets. Detail Handler can be used to configure the information that will be displayed when a widget is rendered and the Action Handler can be used to specify what happens when an action is done in a widget. Inside the Builder, you have a bunch of drag and drop elements that you can use in the code. Then you have Connections. Connections are interfaces used to integrate third-party services with your Zoho service, in this case Zoho Sales IQ. You can either create connections with a list of third-party services pre-registered with Zoho Sales IQ or create a custom connection. Once all the configurations are set, you can publish your widget. You can preview what your widget will look like inside the widget preview window. To edit the code for any previously created widget, you can choose the widget and click on the Edit Code button and make all the changes. You can also click on Configure Profile to make changes to the basic configuration. To create a widget using Webhooks, you need to choose the Webhooks platform in the Basic Configuration section. Click Create Widget. In the Edit URL section, enter the URL that has to be invoked. Click Save. You can preview what your widget will look like inside the Widget Preview window. And then click on Publish. Once the widget is created, you will be able to see the widget in the live chat window with all the required information. For example, your support desk widget gets data from any support desk application and displays the list of open tickets for your customer that you are chatting with or have already chatted with. You also have the option of adding requests using the widgets. Thank you.